Hey everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC, and today in this video, I'll be taking a look at the Mushkin Source 120GB SSD that I just picked up from Newegg for just $29.99. Yes, $30 or less than $30 per cent, but yeah, it's extremely cheap. I found this on a deal. I didn't really have a use for it, but I thought, you know, it's super cheap anyway, so I couldn't refuse it. That's why I picked it up. And with this video, I will also not just take a look at the SSD because, you know, to be honest, there really isn't much to look at on this thing. Uh, I would also like to talk about why SSDs are much cheaper now and, you know, why you should be getting SSDs now instead of hard drives as your boot drive for your new PC build or even your laptop that might be a year old or something. Why you should upgrade to an SSD. Well, so let's just take a look at the SSD first for the Mushkin drive that I have here. So... The packaging is quite simple, there isn't even any kind of seal on here, so I could just take it open and sell it off as brand new without anyone noticing it, actually. So yeah, uh, I might actually use this as a second boot drive for my test bench for Windows 7 though, because I have a bunch of old graphics card like this X1900 XT, which you know doesn't work very well in Windows 10, so I might try that for Windows 7. So yeah, on the front there's just, you know, simple blister pack and on the back you have this like really weird situation where there's like this thank you card and the sticker covering up the uh, product uh, specification and features that's supposed to be on the back of the packaging so let's just open it up and take a look inside and see what they have to say about this ssd so there's a thank you card for buying the mushkin ssd and being awesome and a note from the CEO so that's nice I guess and you also get this Mushkin Enhance sticker that you can put on your system if you want to personally I don't like putting stickers on my belt but you know someone might and here it is on the back now you can actually read it it says some stuff about superb reliability in a solid state drive and ultra fast transfer speed and understanding responsiveness and that is basically all the benefits of getting an SSD over a hard drive, which is that SSDs respond much, much, much faster than a hard drive, like hundreds of times faster. And also transfer speeds, like the read and write speeds, are much, much faster. Like for a SATA-based drive, it could be like five or six times faster than a typical hard drive, for example. Because these kind of drives can read up to like 550 to 600 megabytes per second and read depending on the quality of your drive. Like this one's a pretty low end drive so it isn't really that fast as you can see from the specifications. It's basically just, you know, a typical cheap drive that you buy to upgrade an old laptop or desktop. It's not something for enthusiasts so this one's not very fast but it's nonetheless it's still way faster than a hard drive. And you know, it has 3D NAND, so this is one of the newer SSDs, actually. It's one of the newer ones that has the new 3D NAND flash. Now, it might sound really cool, but 3D NAND is actually a step back in terms of reliability and performance to normal, planar, you know, two, uh, one-dimensional uh, NAND. Because 3D NAND basically stacks the NAND chips together in a single package to makes it, that makes it way cheaper to produce uh, the same amount of gigabyte and put it put you know more gigabytes in the same amount of space so that makes it cheaper for the drives to be sold which is why ssd prices have been coming down especially with these new uh, 3d nan tlc drives but that does hit the reliability and performance kind of things although i think for the average joe it doesn't really matter all that much so the lower price is definitely uh, pretty great and it's shock resistant which is you know pretty obvious because it's an SSD there's not there's nothing that's moving inside of it so you really can't break in anything so that's why it's shock resistant and that's right for every SSD basically and yeah on the, on the bottom it also says that it has a three year limited warranty which is pretty nice for such a cheap drive but I will I will probably have to check if they have some kind of like uh, right limit uh, depending on like which uh, gigabyte size you have because they might have a drive write limit and also the three year limit for the warranty because that's just how drives are uh, warranted these days and it, it is also the SATA to six gigabyte per second uh, type of drive so it's the newest SATA type uh, so 
because you know obviously it's the newest ones because this is one of the newer models of SSDs that you can find uh, out on the market today but yeah so why should you buy an SSD like this a $30 120 gig SSD instead of using just your you know one terabyte drive together for your steam folders and stuff for example well an SSD responds responds much faster just like what Mushkin wrote on their paper and it also is much higher uh, transfer speeds so you really have a huge performance advantage and you'll see that when you boot windows for example it's going to be much much quicker than a, on a hard drive and obviously when you also launch games and applications that you put in here you would feel it much much quicker to launch compared to on a hard drive for example so yeah if you have a new build that you want to do that and you're on a tight budget i would suggest looking for uh, cheap SSDs that are on sale like like this deal that I found on Newegg and they, they would probably be about 30 to 40 dollars depending on what time you buy them and if you can find some kind of a deal on them so that's a pretty good price in my opinion they have really come down a lot and in fact you can find SSDs in the 30 to 36 dollar range on Newegg right now because they should be still on sale right now if you find it well at the time of this uh, video's posting so yeah you should really use an ssd these days don't use a hard drive for a boot drive maybe use a hard drive for your steam games for example because hard drives are from, hard drives are inherently much cheaper per gigabyte but don't use them as a windows boot drive uh, seeing that ssds have come down a lot in pricing these days and that's due to the 3d nan tlc technology that you have seen i uh, pointed out before because 3D NAND makes it much cheaper to produce the SSDs at the same amount of gigabytes as before. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this SSD. There isn't much else to talk about. It's from Mushkin and it's a 120 gig SSD. This is a simple SSD that isn't for enthusiasts but should be pretty good for anyone wanting to upgrade their desktop or laptop to a faster SSD from a hard drive or even just a budget new build. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video about this SSD. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please leave a like and please click subscribe to see more of my future videos. Thanks for watching.